and I'm here to share my experience with Andrew Tate. Five more things I absolutely love about Andrew Tate. I have had nothing but positive encounters with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate he is the only person who speaks the truth. Andrew is my still great friend. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. I could always resemble with what the Tates stand for and that's why I love them. I know Tristan and Andrew pretty well personally and what I can say about them is that they are the sweetest, the smartest, and most respectful people I know. I had lived with Andrew for years and years, and he would never do anything like this, ever. I personally think that Andrew Tate is a very strong man. He's obviously got his beliefs. His beliefs are now, ironically, controversial, even though they are the most traditional of values. But anyway. He is not a human trafficker. He would never rape anybody. Andrew and Tristan Tate, magic men. I believe they are spiritual, purpose-driven men, and I'm grateful for them. And I also saw many times how respectful they are to every single woman they meet. I just want to put it out there that everything you're seeing on the news right now is all false accusations. If you meet someone who's worked with him, he's an operator, he turns up early, he invests time, and he's very easy to talk to. But after hours of content, I decided I liked the guy and I liked his message and what he stood for. And as I've said before, based off of my experience with him, he's always been very gentlemanly, been very nice, been very courteous, never made me feel uncomfortable. And for me, no, he was actually really nice. Um, he was really quick in and out, but the experience I had with him was that he was really nice. As for someone who knows him personally, I can confidently say that um, he's such a nice man and he's very generous. He's always been respectful of me and others around him. Sex with me because I know the person I have lived with, I know who he is, and he doesn't need all of those things, and he does not deserve any of this coming his way. Who has given them the right to the Romanian prosecutors to accuse me of being a victim? And this is an abuse of power from the Romanian prosecutor's office against me. But where's the evidence? A lot has been said that was not true. They said they were deprived of liberty, but they weren't. I can bring evidence to show they were not deprived of liberty. And if you want, I can even come to the TV set to discuss this further. Because this is very unfair. They don't deserve it. Those are just made up stories that go around the internet. This case is basically built on life, in my opinion. I honestly think that, that justice should be made.